Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a text light effect in VSGC Video Editor Pro version. Now, it's actually super easy to create a text light effect in VSGC Pro. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already written some text on top of the screen. So, this is my text present right here. And the first thing which you need to do is you need to double click on your text object. Next, you need to go to video effects, go to nature, select God rays and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the God rays effect is the entire duration of my text object in the timeline that is 5 seconds. So I would like to reduce the duration of the God rays effect to just 1 second. So inside the duration option, you need to write 01.000 and then press enter on the keyboard. Now look inside the God Rays settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside polar coordinates currently false is selected so that's fine. Inside center x currently the value is 80%. So you need to delete this value and instead of 80 you need to write 50. And now press enter on the keyboard. Inside center Y, the value is 20%. So once again, delete this value. And instead of 20, you need to write 50. And now press enter on the keyboard. Inside light intensity, currently the value is 100%. So delete this value. And instead of 100, you need to write 50 semicolon. 200 and now press enter on the keyboard inside brightness currently the value is 75 percent so once again delete this value and instead of 75 you need to write 50 semicolon 120 and now press enter on the keyboard inside mode currently normal is selected so that's fine inside ray length currently the value is 150 percent so once again delete this value and instead of 150 you need to write 0 semicolon 1000 and now press enter on the keyboard noise strength is set to 0 percent so that's fine chromatic shift is also set to 0 percent so that's fine as well now next what you need to do is you need to click on this God Rays effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Now place this second God Rays effect right after the first God Rays effect like this and look inside the God Rays settings of this second God Rays effect. Polar coordinates is set to false so that's fine. Center X is set to 50% so that's fine. Center Y is set to 50% so that's fine as well. Inside light intensity currently the values are 50 semicolon 200. So what you need to do is you need to reverse the values. So instead of 50 semicolon 200 you need to write 200 semicolon 50 and now press enter on the keyboard. Inside brightness the values are 50 semicolon 120. So once again, reverse the values. So instead of 50 semicolon 120, you need to write 120 semicolon 50. And now press enter on the keyboard. Mode is set to normal. So that's fine. You don't need to make any changes. Inside ray length, currently the values are 0 semicolon 1000. So you need to once again reverse the values. So instead of 0 semicolon 1000, you need to write 1000 semicolon 0. And now press enter on the keyboard. Noise strength is set to 0%. So that's fine. Chromatic shift is also set to 0%. So that's fine as well. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. So watch the text light effect which is happening on screen. Perfect. Let me quickly play the video for you once again. Alright. 
One final thing which I would like to do is I would like to add a fade in effect. All right. So go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade in and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the fade in effect is one second. So I would like to reduce the duration of the fade in effect to 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option, let me write 00 0.500 and now press enter on the keyboard. And so now if I just quickly play this entire video for you from the start. So this is how you can create a text light effect in VSGC video editor pro version. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.